So, after over a week off, I'm back, and there's a bit of, bit of stuff to talk about. Um, I'm going to start with Mustafi's injury. It's been reported tonight, after he limped off in the Germany game last night, that he's going to be out for up to seven weeks. Wow, that could be a big miss. Although he hasn't been absolutely fantastic for Arsenal, he's better than everyone else. Um, alongside him... Koscielny is nursing an Achilles injury that's been an ongoing injury for a long, long time now. Um, so yeah, it's quite worrying that we're going to be going into the next six, seven weeks, possibly with one of them missing, maybe both of them missing. Um, maybe we should have signed a centre-back in the summer after all that we were all crying out for. But hey, what do we know? Anyway, we do have Rob Holding, we do have Callum Chambers, and we have our club captain, Per Mertesacker, to fill in. So on to the next thing I want to talk about, and that's Mark Overmars, a club legend. Absolutely idolised this guy when I was growing up. Absolutely fantastic footballer. Um, we all remember his goal up at Old Trafford and his celebration after that. Brilliant. Love the guy. Um, yeah, he's coming back. We don't know in what capacity he's coming back, but he's definitely coming back. That is everywhere. If you, if you were living on the moon, you would have seen that he's coming back. Um, is he going to be assistant manager? Is Steve Bold going to be going? Because Steve Bold, since he's been here, doesn't really do anything. He just sits there. Yes, arson. No arson. Free bags fucking full arson. And we know this because if he did have a say on the team, we wouldn't defend like fucking idiots every week, would we? Come on. So, he could possibly be the assistant manager, um, although I don't think that is going to be the case. I personally think that he's going to be a director of football, and he's going to be the link between Gazidis, the board, and then obviously Arsene Wenger. Um, now, Arsene Wenger is not stupid. He surrounds himself with yes-men. So, I'm thinking that Mark Overmars could be another yes-man, but... I really hope he ain't because I don't want to hate him. I really don't. Um, I Like I said, I loved the guy when I was growing up watching football. He, he, he was fantastic. So I really hope that he comes into Arsenal. If it is a sporting director, I hope that he gets things going. And this is part of the bigger plan that Arsenal had to change up backroom staff, change a few people upstairs and, you know, make us move forward. Make us into that great club that we all know we can be. So only time will tell on that. I'm sure in the next coming weeks, we're going to find out the finer details on that. Now, one last thing I do want to touch on is obviously since this channel started six months ago, and I appreciate all the love I've had on this channel, um, built up over 6,000 subscribers already, um, nearly 650,000 views as well, which is, wow, it's pretty mad, really. That's on average, what, 25,000 a week? So yeah, that, that's decent from a standing start. Um, Obviously, I do previews and reviews, and then obviously when, when there's international breaks and it's, you know, the summertime, then obviously I'll do other things like, such as, you know, updates on transfer windows and videos like I'm doing now. Um, what I am going to start doing as of this week is a Premier League predictor. I'm going to do that the day before I do my Arsenal preview. I had to think about that. Um, so yeah, look out for that. Share that video about all your non-Arsenal mates. Share it about to them. Get them subbed to the channel. I want to get this channel as massive as I can get it. My goal is 10,000 subs by Christmas and I am fully on the way to doing that. Thanks to all of you guys for helping. So yeah, leave your comments down there. Absolutely donkey punch the fuck out the like button. And if you're new, subscribe. Where the fuck you been? Laters, peeps.